Perfect. Okay, so so far, I'm gonna, um, so so far what we did is we added some color, we added shavings to the watercolor paper, and we took and we sprayed it with some water, and we took this little card and we scraped, right, back and forth, the color. All right, so that's where we are, and here is how it looks so far. So we've got this totally cool, fun background. Okay, and if you can see, hopefully you can see that, you can still kind of see her, her little face back there in the background. Okay, so for those of you who missed it, so we took shavings and off of um, four different gelatos. We smashed them up, we added them to the paper, and then we sprayed it with water, and then we scraped it across with the card. Okay, perfect. All right. So now what we want to do is, oh, okay, I've got this chalkboard paint and I'm going to do the outline of her face. The chalkboard paint actually dries really quickly. So I want to do that next. I'm going to take a small paintbrush and dip it in there and do my outline of my girl. Now I will tell you that these places right where you see the gelato where you haven't whenever you don't mix if you don't mix your gelato in really well it actually stays the same consistency as it is in the tube so um, because of this technique I wanted there to be chunks of gelato on my page so what we want to do is um, before it's finished we can just add a layer of gel medium on top of that and it won't ruin your artwork it will stay exactly the same so it's just kind of like a matte coating um, if you like a more of a glossy then maybe you want to add a glaze instead so I'm gonna take this chalkboard and I, I'm actually I'm using the lid just because it's a small paint palette I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna tilt this down and I, I'm gonna be careful about tilting because I don't know maybe I had it too far closed and that's why you guys lost the video I'm not sure I'm not sure I'm using a new new computer so I want to make sure I don't lose you guys so I'm just taking this small fine tip fine paintbrush and I'm coloring coloring in <laughs> I'm fixing the lines and what's really nice about the chalkboard paint is it's so dark and so matte that it gives you a really great contrast to the background. Okay. And I'm going to give you a couple of tips when you're doing faces to remember. Okay, I don't know if you can see. Um, here I drew like the outside lines of where her eyebrows would be. But you don't want to do two straight lines because people don't have two straight lines for eyebrows. They have little hairs. So those lines are just kind of my guidelines. So I'm just doing quick, short strokes to make her eyebrows. Okay. So in here is on the other side, her other eye. And basically, this is just like a silhouette. Not, we're not actually filling in the whole face. All right, so here we go. And again, quick short strokes for eyebrows. The little line on the inside. Okay. Her nose line. Her lips. And this would be the only time I would recommend doing um, lips outlined in black. I don't normally outline lips in black 
because unless you're doing a very dark lipstick, it would look a little bit odd. Her chin. And a little neck right here. And going down here, the other side of her face. Her hair. You know, and if this is um, really uncomfortable, you know, the, the thought of doing a paintbrush, you know, remember you're just tracing lines, but if it's uncomfortable, you know, use a pit pen instead. It's okay, you know, it's whatever, you know, it's your artwork, so however you wanna do it. So now I'm just creating these hairlines. Because I really didn't draw them in. Okay, so I've got this. You can also use, you know, a stencil. The chalkboard paint works really good because, especially where there's chunks, though, I will tell you that. Where there's chunks of gelato. Okay, so I told you I was going to give you two tips on um, doing faces. The one was to draw, you know, little lines for the eyebrows instead of drawing two lines which would look really odd it's the same thing with eyelashes okay you start at the eyelid line so make sure they have eyelids too and then just bring that start there and just bring it up and as you're bringing it out lift up that brush just slightly Okay, so I'm just lifting it out. Okay, lash line and out. And just really fast, quick strokes. And it has a little bit of a curve to it as well. Okay, and so that, that way, you know, she looks more feminine, right? See that? Yeah, so she looks more feminine. Okay, and I just like smashed my, I just put my finger in there. Okay, let's see. I'm grabbing a paper towel. All right, I want to, I'm just going to grab this paper towel and just wipe this little section. Oh, it's going dark. I'm gonna wet the, I think I'm going to wet this a little bit and see what happens here. See if we can't. Fix this a little bit here. Okay. Well, it might not be perfect, but that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna hit this really quickly with a heat gun. So I'm using the chalkboard paint to hit that. And it actually dries really quickly. All right, perfect. Okay, so now that that's dry and I'm good and I can move on and I know I don't have to worry about, you know, ruining, right, my girl. Okay, now I'm going to take the asphalt. I guess I could turn that upside, right side up there. <laughs> so I'm using the asphalt and I'm going to use this little, this little stencil here. And I'm just going to take my spatula and put it in random places. It doesn't have to be perfect. 
and I'm not using the whole stencil. I think um, I've seen a lot of times where people, I don't know, they feel like they need to use the whole stencil and you really don't. Now, if you haven't used the asphalt, you can hear that it definitely has texture in it. You can hear it as I go across. And I'm just lifting that up and I'm going to use it over here just in another space. And when it's wet, it looks shiny, but when it's dry, it's pretty matte. So I'm just lifting that up. And so I've got these two sides like this, but I also want to show you, you can add, you can add some color to your asphalt paste, cement paste. So I'm wiping off this so I can grab some. I'm going to grab the champagne gold because I want to add a little bit of that metallic since we're doing that metallic look into my paste. So again, I'm just taking, you know, a little sliver there and smashing it up. Okay, just smashing that up. And again, remember, it's very soft. And grabbing some asphalt. And I'm going to mix that in. And it will give it that metallic look. A little bit of, just change up the color a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that at all? I'm not sure if you can. But if you can't, trust me, it's there. <laughs> okay, so setting that aside, I'm grabbing the same, the same stencil. And so now I've still got this metallic look. I've got that, I still got that asphalt look, right? The texture paste, but now it also has that metallic in it. So it does change it up, the color, just a little bit. Okay, and let's put some down here and use the rest of it. Perfect. I'm glad you guys can see it. Awesome. All right. So, and I'm just being really random about it, you guys. It's not a big deal. Okay. So I don't know if you can see. I think you can see that you can. You should be able to see the difference. I mean, it's it's quite a different color. So I'm gonna heat dry this just because I don't want to stick my hand in it. Oh, thank you, thank you. And yes, it's all about the, all about the color. You're not so good with random, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just going through here and just heating this up. Okay. It's still quite wet.
Oh, you guys are cracking me up. I'm trying to read your things really fast. Coming across. Um, yes, you can coat the, your stencils with gel medium, and they will last longer. You know, but I have to say, I've gotten them pretty wet, and they didn't get ruined at all. This one feels pretty good. This is getting there. Okay, I want to show you. So dry. I don't know if you can tell. Okay, so here it here it is without the gelato, and here it is with the champagne gelato. So you can, I mean, you can tell there's quite a difference, but I don't know if you can tell that there is that metallic flake in there, but it is in there. Okay, and something else I forgot to do, I want to go back in here and add um, her in her eyes. I want to add that, the center, the black center, the pupils. I'm going back and adding this in here because it, it'll make it pop a little bit more. And sorry, I have to concentrate when I'm when I'm doing these little fine lines with a very skinny paintbrush. <laughs> Probably should have like music in the background or something, right? I mean, you can see the difference already. You know, what a difference putting that pupil there does. Going on the bottom. And I forgot to put eyelashes on the bottom. That might be good too. Just saying. So again, and you have to remember too, on the outside of the eyes, the lashes are going to look a little longer than on the inside. So I just want very, very thin lashes on the bottom. So this might be a little thick there. And go all the way out. And of course, the more practice, the better it will get. All right. Okay, so there she is. Well, let's see, I'm going to put this up so you can see better. How's that? All right. Okay, how are you guys doing? Yay, there you go, awesome. And there she is, all finished. Okay, what size paintbrush am I using? This is, let's see what it is. It is, hmm. I don't know. It's really small. It's a liner. Oh, it's a zero. It's a zero. So it's pretty thin. Paintbrush. So there you go. There you go. And then, and there you go. That's, that's how you do it. And it could be done on a canvas or a paper. So there she is, the whole thing finished. Okay. And then here's the one, the, here's the different girl in a different color. That same concept, just using different colors. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, you guys. You guys are awesome. 
And I think we need to pick some winners. We've got um, three sets of 15 count metallic gelatos to give away. So, Naoko, are you uh, ready to give some away? All right, and if you guys, I'm like reading, reading, reading. You guys are going, they're going really, really quick. Um, we are going to be doing another Ustream in like two weeks, so make sure you guys come back for that one. I'm doing that. Woohoo, woohoo. Oh, I see winners. Kelly Girl Crafts. Yay, congratulations. Winner number one. Oh, it's just picking winners, you guys. And Karen Ladd, awesome. Congratulations, Karen. And, woo. And Scrubby Sue, awesome. Awesome. So I, I hope you guys got all your questions answered. Yay. Awesome. Thanks, you guys, for tuning in. You know, and if you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to, you know, drop me an email or, you know, leave a comment. When there's one of my blog posts, I do read the comments. Um, and I am on readabearcat.com. I'm on Periscope. And I will be doing the next Ustream for Faber Castell Design Memory Craft. And you guys are so awesome. I'm so glad you guys are on here. You are so welcome. Yay! Uh, yes, and please, you guys, make sure the winners that you guys email Design Memory Craft at favorcastell.com. And you guys will love it. Do you guys have any other questions for me about the gelatos? Or about any of the other products? Because I do have all of them here. <laughs> It is. It's so fun. I think the longest part about doing um, work, oh, you have to see me do more face. Yes, you definitely do, um, is probably making a decision. Yes. Um, well, I don't even know what a watercolor card is, but you could do it with like a hotel card key because I am only using the flat side. So you just want to make sure that it's something that is plasticky, not, not paper. Yeah. Very good. I love the stencils, and you guys, they're so fun because once it's gonna, it's gonna get full um, of different colors and different. Like this one, look at how cool this one looks, you guys. It then you can cut this up and use this on a mixed media. Yes, you could use them for anything, and they come ten in a pack. I mean, it's a really good deal. Yes, uh, two weeks. Um, do we, Naoko, do you have the date for the next week class? The next class? There's a delay. <laughs> awesome. Um, you, I mean, a greeting card out of paper. Yeah, it is the 23rd is the next class. Um, Yep. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to hit stop record, but I'm 